Welcome back to a very full Greenback Leisure Centre in Swaddling Coat, Derbyshire, where the top of the bill fight tonight features Willie Quinn with massive support here up against the local boy Neville Brown for the British middleweight crown. In the ring at the moment, Jason Boo here, and uh, he's got a 43% success rate with his punches thrown. And those statistics do not lie. Boo is right on top. He's the one in the gold trunks here, up against Dave Caldwell, whose only win so far is against Marty Chestnut in his debut last September. And there was noticeable in the corner of that round. Caldwell's people in the corner were telling him to get his hands up. So they obviously realized the style's not working for him. Left hook gets in from Booth. You do worry a little bit about Caldwell with this defense if he got in there with a real banger. Yes, he certainly he gets caught far too much. It's all Jason Booth so far. Caldwell just can't get into the contest in any serious way. Third round of four. I think Cole Booth with the, the defense so lax and Cole must be really enjoying it in there. He's finding it very easy to connect with the target. Caught with a right hand again and then the following left. And that stung Caldwell into action. It's a decent looking right uppercut from him, but I think Booth managed to block it okay. Just a bit of blood by the look of it from Caldwell's nose, not much. Very tight, compact arena here, which is absolutely jammed full, which is only going to add to the atmosphere, which will build up, believe me, during the evening. Again, Booth playing it very easy to land with the jab. Only one of the three wins so far for Jason Booth has come inside schedule. The suspicion here is that he is perhaps not a concussive hitter. This will certainly he's had opportunity to land plenty times and as, as yet Caldwell's took the punches quite well. Mind you, we said that about Paul Ingle when he first started, that he didn't look as if he was a heavy hitter. He's become one, obviously. This fighter certainly can, can develop into better punches. He's very young, Booth, only 19 years of age, so there's plenty of time for him. Still very much learning the game. Well, Booth's winning everything so far, and Caldwell needs to do something dramatic. Well, there's Prince Nassim, and he's looking a bit gloomy about things there at ringside. Uh, I think he can see what we're seeing. Yes, I think he sees that the, the style of Dave Caldwell just isn't working for him. He's trying to, to do a, a Nazim impersonation and it's it's not the best. He's getting caught far too much. Well, I just watch here. He's, well, the left doesn't actually land, does it? But uh, he is getting hit too much, really. Yes, he tried to come back there with the, the right uppercut, but it, it wasn't a good shot. He doesn't look as if he has the, the power. Nazim Ahmed, as well as good defensive skills, is a very good puncher. Dave Caldwell, who was born in Calcutta, his father's English, is Indian, and that nickname of Ice was actually given to him by Naz. He's lived in Sheffield since he was just one. So last round, and on our scorecards, Glenn and I, we've got Jason Booth winning all three so far. And you don't need to be Einstein to work out that Caldwell needs a knockout, if that's true. Booth landing with a good solid left and the left hook. He's boxing very well. Nice head movement. He's not taking any chances. Jason Booth. That's better from Caldwell. 
started to land with a little more as the contest has gone on. He's talking now to Booth in there. Booth's answer is a right over the top. see anything that gives you grounds for thinking that Coldwell with a bit of work might improve a lot well I certainly I think he could he just takes too many punches you know he at times he comes back with decent counters of his own but he's very upright you know and he doesn't avoid the punches he needs to change his style get his hands up really just go back to to the drawing board the far more orthodox and conventional skills of Booth have certainly won out here unless Coldwell has got a real surprise in store for us late on. Coldwell only had 10 amateur contests. That shows a bit, doesn't it, as well? Yes, it does. He certainly, he's, he's a game enough fighter. He's took a lot of punches and he's still standing there. He's still prepared to train. But it just looks as if Booth just too sharp a boxer. He just... His skills are far better. Who the fighter with a decent amateur pedigree, and you're seeing the results of that as well. Left hook doubling up on the jab, and then another big left hook that really jolted Coldwell's head back on his shoulders. And Boo even finding time to do a little bow to his many fans in the crowd here. He could do without that. There's quite a bit of blood now around that nose of Coldwell. Booth's never looked like putting him away, though, is he? Not really. He's caught him in this last round with a couple of uh, more solid punches. But he's rocked the head back several times with the jab, and you know, to be honest, that's been enough. Colwell just uh, has the, is unable to just slip the jab. Easy fight for referee Terry O'Connor to score, and he raises the arm of Jason Booth, who makes it four wins out of four and leaves Dave Colwell with just one win out of four. At this stage, he was far, far too good for a very raw-looking Colwell, who was getting hit far too much, and that style, has to be said at the moment, doesn't work for him. It certainly doesn't. But it was a good performance from Booth. He's, he's got a, a fair bit to learn. He's very young, still carrying a lot of amateurism, over with him but certainly there's a good deal to go on there and he's a, a nice little prospect interesting to see how he progresses in the flyweight division obviously a very well schooled fighter managed by Mike Shinfield formerly with the Radford boys amateur boxing club in Nottingham they'll be proud of him he started off his pro career well Jason Booth is the name, and he's only 19. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, after four hard-fought rounds, the referee scorecard reads Dave Corbett 38 points, Jason Booth 40 points, the winner, Jason Booth. And Booth won every round on the referee scorecard as he did with Glam and I. And for your appreciations, please, Dave Caldwell. Well, Jason Booth of Nottingham, promising start to his 